Hey guys, it's Matt. So something came up for me this past weekend. I was teaching a, a seminar on it's the ultimate guide on how to raise private money out of your own network. You're going to be hearing more about that because we actually videotaped it and we're going to be um, presenting that as something that you guys could get involved in as well. But during the Q&A at the end, after we turned the cameras off, I stuck around and did like a private Q&A session with the audience that we had. And this uh, audience member that we had threw out there a great question that really got, got me thinking a lot. And I thought that I'd offer up my answer to you guys here on this video. The question was, if you had to start all over again, what would you do differently? Now, I've been in business for 10 years, so I've learned a lot. And that's actually a really good question that I don't think about too often because I'm mostly thinking about just moving things forward. But uh, I reflected a lot on that question after she asked it. And here's what I said there and also some more uh, answers that I've come up with as I've thought about it over the last couple of days. The first thing I would do is I would not grow too fast. When we first got started, we started out on single family homes and duplexes and things like that, but very quickly, too fast, we got into things like office buildings and um, we got over our head, really. And uh, then the economy took a dip and we ended up um, having to, uh, we had very, very slow growth for years uh, because we were into, we were over our head and had to have a very long learning curve to get ourselves caught up. Uh, to the assets that we had bought. So we would have done much better, I think, doing it over again, was to do a slow growth, year over year, buying more properties. Yes, raising the caliber and the quality and amount of units that we're getting into, but it wouldn't have been an exponential growth to go from a couple of single family homes to an office complex. Um, so the, the lessons to you guys is, you don't have to start out by buying a 150 unit apartment complex. I know that that's really cool and sexy for you guys to think that that's what you want to do, but I promise you, you will do much better if you start out small and quickly grow up uh, to those types of things. But, you know, stretch yourself, but don't grow so fast where you get over your head um, very quickly. So that's number one. Number two, we didn't ask for help at all. We didn't do a mentorship or anything like that. We just you know, learned on our own and we got ourselves into trouble left and right um, yeah, when we, for the first couple of years of getting started. We had uh, a few folks that really believed in us and gave us substantial, you know, multiple six-figure lines of credit to uh, get into real estate deals. And unfortunately, we got into a few deals that didn't work out or that were very, very slow payback on those lines of credit. And because of those investments that we got ourselves into, it stunted our growth. Now, we've pretty much resolved all that. All the, most of that line of credit money has been paid back um, and, and uh, gotten off of our books. But at the end of the day, it's taken a lot of our growth away that we could have gotten into had we gotten into quick hit, in and out type of stuff. So either way, get yourself a mentor. Get someone who's a little, just a few steps ahead of you to give you some coaching. Uh, whether it's paid or not, it doesn't matter. Use bigger pockets or other sites that are out there, uh, your local RIA, to find investors that are willing to help you along. That actually leads me to the third thing, um, that I, I never got into active work for income. I strictly did passive investments, so strictly bought rental properties, landlording, that kind of thing. And had I done, you know, maybe some realtor work, um, maybe some consulting or maybe some other types of, uh, types of work to make money uh, while I was building my passive income, it would have allowed for more growth as well, perhaps more networking, perhaps an opportunity to work with that mentor um, uh, under them as a trainee or as an apprentice or something like that. But uh, I would have taken on an, either an apprenticeship or a, um, a job as a, as a realtor that would allow me to focus somewhat on investing but also on generating some active income too. Uh, so those are the three things that I would do had, if I were to do things over again. Now, obviously, I don't lament. I don't want to rewind the clock. I'm very grateful for where we are because we've been able to learn quite a bit and leverage things like our office building over the years um, and to put ourselves in a great place. But I would say that it did stunt our growth by not, uh, by not doing the things that I listed out here. Uh, and my hope is that you guys uh, take note of this from a guy who's been doing this for a while and uh, take, you know, maybe take that into consideration if you're just getting started in this business. So um, I hope it's of value. Um, please leave a comment Keep, and stay tuned for uh, information on that, um, that course that we're offering on how to raise private money in your own network. Have a great day.